Hello good people and welcome to Finance Skills Hub. Here we learn, we connect and we grow. One of the most important principles in designing dashboards is to make it easy for your user to focus on what matters. By doing this, you need to mute or reduce any noise or element that is likely to distract your user. In this short video, we look at an example of an actual and target dashboard where we just visualize what matters, whether we're able to achieve the target or not, and also spot any positive and negative variants. So join me in Excel and let's go through this in a few minutes. So our final dashboard is going to have an interactive slicer that will show us which product in which branch met target or not. We are going to start off with our food data. We do our calculations and then do our dashboard in a few minutes. So we switch to our data, which is already in a table. I've named Finex. So standing in the table, I'll go to insert, insert a pivot table, and we'll put this in a new worksheet. So this is my pivot table. My goal is to analyze revenue and target. So by checking these boxes, I have my revenue and target in the value section. I want to see this by canteen or in this case branch. So when I put canteen in rows, I'm able to slice this and analyze by revenue or target. I can double click the header and if it helps, I'm going to name this actual and also double click this and then name this target with a space because there's already a target here. So this is my actual and my target. So with this laid out, our goal is to mirror our content, the content of our pivot table to make it easier for our calculations and visualization. When you create a pivot table, you have two options, analyze and design. In the design tab, you can take away grand totals and subtotals. So for our purpose, we are going to take away our grand totals and then we stand in here putting an equal to and then select our pivot table. The assumption here is that this is not going to grow. So once I do this, I'm able to reference the entire pivot table. I can highlight this Alt H O I to auto fit so that I can see the entire layout. Now in our calculation, we are going to have those who were able to hit the target and those who missed the target and calculate the variance for both. So I'm going to have a column for hit, variance, and then I'll have miss, and then the variance as well. So our calculation for those who are able to hit the target is if my actual is greater than my target, then put in one here, otherwise NA. So in putting in NA, the idea is the chart cannot plot this value. So it's essentially blank in the chart. So I'll copy this down, control D, control shift percentage to format this as a percentage. Now let's calculate our variance. So our variance is going to be equal to if I'll select the calculation I just did. When you select a cell, the interpretation is if that cell contains a number, then let's calculate the variance, which is going to be actual divided by target minus one otherwise bring an NA. So I'll do this and then I have the variance which is the positive variance. Control D, Control Shift percentage and here I'm able to calculate the positive variance. For our miss is just going to be the same formula here so I'll just copy this, Control C, come to our miss, paste this and then change the operator. So instead of one what we want to do is just calculate the performance, which is actual divided by target. So I'll do this and then I'll copy this down. So for those that were not able to meet, it calculates the performance. So this one is close enough. Now the variance for those who missed is going to be one minus the miscalculation and then we'll copy this down. We are just doing this so that we are able to plot our chart. So now that this is done, what we are going to plot is the list of branches. I'll hold control and then select these calculations. I'll go to insert and then in the chart area, I'll launch this and I'm able to see all my charts here. We are going to use a stacked column chart. 
this one and then I'll click OK so this is my chart we are going to format this very soon now to make us see that 100% mark I can introduce another series here and then fill this with 100% so control D control shift percentage in charting you can actually copy that series control C and then paste it on the chart so we just like adding a series but when we do this we need to go convert this into a combo chart so I'll go back to my chart design change chart type and then go to combo okay and then I'm going to switch this to a start column chart which we started with the variance is also going to be a start column chart but our mark is going to be a line which I'm going to plot in the secondary axis okay then I'll click OK so this is going to be our chart the next thing I'm going to do is to insert a slicer in our pivot table so you can do that standing in here or the fill you want to insert a chart on in this case food I can right click and then add this as a slicer so these are the two objects I'm going to use in our visualization I'll hold this control control cut this and then insert a new worksheet which is going to be my dashboard so before we do that I need to go into my dark mode which is basically selecting the whole background come here and then fill this in black and then I'll invert my font and make this white so over here I'll paste my two elements so I have my chart on one side and then I have my slicer on the other side so let's work on our chart I'll select my chart go to format and then in shift fill I'll choose no fill and then I'll take off some elements here so my chart title will go away my grid lines will go away I'll take this one anything you want to format in the chart you can select that part press ctrl 1 and then for this purpose this is not going to have a fill so I'll choose no fill same for the other series is also going to have a no fail reason we are doing this is to just plot or visualize the variance okay so we now have our line and then our variance to make it easy let's select one of okay so when we select this this is going to be a negative variance so I'll select this control one and then I'll come to the fill series solid fill and then make this red okay so that is going to be our negative variance and then let me choose one that will bring a positive variance control one and I'll choose a green for this purpose so I have something like this now because we want an equal space on top of the hundred percent and then below I'm going to take this axis to my right control one and then my minimum is going to be zero and I'm going to double this one so I'll put in two here. so I have the same spacing on top and then down at this point I can take this and then delete it so that everything will fall in place so we are making progress I'll take off my legend here and then I'll make this white select this series and also make this white as well so that is our chart if it helps you can go to format and then take off the outline okay so now let's put in our data label so I'm going to select my series add my data labels so while I'm here I can also increase this to about 12 or 10 points and then I'll do same for my red points so again my data label and then I'll select and then increase this by about some two points same as the green and then I'm going to make this white okay so that's this for our chart so you now realize that when I select any products I'm not able to focus on the positive and negative variants now let's bring in our data sets so standing in here I press equal to go here and then select my canteen all the way to my target it's going to spell I will just alt H O I to auto fit and then format these numbers control shift one I'm going to put in border lines so I'll highlight this go to home and I'm able to change my color 
to white. Alt HBA to apply my borders. And then if you like, you can paint the headers in a slightly gray format and then make this black. So with this, you can now see by product and by branch which particular products or branch were able to exceed the target. Of course, the idea is to make sure that the user focuses on what matters. You can apply this to your case study. In another video, we'll learn how to format the slices properly for it to agree with your dark mode theme. So apply the learning and add it to your list of Excel tricks. For more of these short videos, you can send ad to this WhatsApp number. We'll add you to our broadcast list. All our videos are sent to you directly on your phone. Old videos are on our YouTube channel, Finest Skills Up. Please visit, subscribe for notification of new videos or connect with us on any of these social media handles. Thank you so much for watching.